Hello, welcome. Today I will be showing you how to set up and create a new project in Sibelius 7. So, the first thing that you'll see when you open the program is this screen. Uh, in the quick start menu here we have a list of different templates that you can choose from, depending on the ensemble that you're writing for. But we are going to use the blank template for this video. As you can see here in the preview, there are no instruments on the blank template. We're going to add our own instruments a bit later on. Right, so drawing our attention over to the right hand side of the window, we've got a bunch of different variables that we can change here. And starting at the top with this drop down menu, we've got the page size. We've got a fair amount of different page sizes that we can use, but I'm just going to go with the standard A4. Underneath that, we've got the page orientation selection. Uh, standard is portrait, but I'm going to change it to landscape. Right, underneath that, we've got the font selection drop-down menu. And again, a fair amount of things to choose from here, different fonts, but I'm just going to use the standard unchanged font. Right, it's time to add some instruments. So if you see under the font selection drop down menu, we've got, we've got this button, change instruments here. Let's click on that and it'll open this window for us. So what we've got here is a list of different uh, families of instruments here. And let's say I want to add a tenor saxophone. I'll click on woodwind. I'll go down to tenor saxophone, click on it. Click on add to score here, this button in the middle, and then there we go, tenor saxophone's been added to this uh, window on the right hand side. So let's add piano, bass, and drums. We've got a piano is in keyboards, and there we go, piano, click on it, click on add to score, piano is there. Bass, let's go to guitars, let's go to bass guitar notation. We could use tabulature, but I want to use standard notation. And then let's go to drums, percussion and drums, drum set, click on add to score. All right, so we've got a nice jazz quartet there, piano, bass, drums, and tenor saxophone. Let's click on the OK button in the lower right hand corner of that window. Great. So now we see in the uh, preview window here on the left, that our instruments are listed, which means that they are part of the score. So we can move on and select our time signature. So the default time signature for all new scores in Sibelius is 4-4. Uh, and we can select different time signatures from this menu here by clicking on them. But let's say, for instance, you've got a time signature that is not displayed in this uh, selection here, in this list of time signatures. Well, what you want to do then is click on Other, and this window will pop up. And what you can do is click on this button here, it says Other, and these two drop down menus will become available for us to use. And let's say you've got, well, here I've got 19. Let's say you've got a strange time signature of 11, 11, 4. So I'll select 11, 4, click OK, and there it is. 11, 4 is now available to us to use, but I'm not going to use 11, 4. I'm going to go with just a standard issue 4, 4 time signature. Right. So the next thing we want to think about is whether we want to add a pickup bar to this score or not. And I will add one, so I'm going to click on the checkbox next to start with bar length. And I want to add a pickup bar of two beats. So I'm gonna get rid of that get rid of that crotchet there. Click on the drop down menu and add a minim. Alright, so now we've got a pickup bar of two beats added to our score. Okay, now it's time to decide on a tempo. So I'll click on Tempo Text drop-down menu here, and you can see we've got a whole bunch of different Italian terms, some English terms, and some German terms there. 
Well, I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to write my own one in. Medium swing is going to be my tempo text. Right, next thing we need to do is add a metronome mark because my medium swing might not be the same as your medium swing. So let's click on the checkbox next to metronome mark. This drop down menu allows us to select crotchet, quaver, minimum, semi, breathe, all that sort of thing. Let's just leave it on crotchet. And let's say crotchet equals 100 beats per minute. We'll leave it at 100. Right, next thing is the key signature setup. So if we click on this drop down menu here, we'll see that we've got some options. We've got no key signature. That's going to be for A minor, C major, or atonal key signatures. Major sharp keys, major flat keys, minor sharp keys, minor flat keys. So I'm going to go with D minor as my key signature. So I'll click on minor flat keys. And there we go, D minor. Select that. The red box around it means that it is selected and added to the score. OK. So after all that, what's left to put in there is the title. And I'm going to call mine uh, Strange Apple Source will be the title of my tune. And the composer name Judge Music Educational. Right. So let's go back and check over all of our different variables. We've got an A4 page size, landscape orientation, unchanged font. We've added our instruments. We've selected a 4 4 time signature. We have, at, oh dear me, we have added a pickup bar of two beats with a minimum there. We have added tempo text of medium swing. We've given a metronome mark of 100 beats per minute, or crotchet equals 100. We've added a minor flat key there, which is D minor. And we've added a title, Strange Apple Source, composed by Judge Music Educational. So, all that's left to do is to click on Create here in the bottom right-hand corner of the window. Let's do that now. And our score is ready to work on. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And stay tuned for more content in the future. See ya.